Good afternoon, UCF Knights. I'm Victoria Pasillo, and here's a quick look at what's making headlines on Wednesday, April 13th, 2016. Two Greek organizations teamed up yesterday to raise money for the UCF Police Department. Participants and spectators gathered at Lake Clare to watch 16 teams compete to be the best kickball champs. Delta 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 and Sigma Chi worked together to organize this kickball tournament. But the Greek community didn't just show up for a good time, they came out to support a good cause. The money raised from this event supported the future purchases of police dogs for the UCFPD's K-9 unit, as well as the cost of training and equipment for the handler. For the 2016 to 2017 school year, students will have a new application system for scholarships. The new system was introduced today and reporter Edward Locke found out how the new system works. A new scholarship application program launched to students inside the student union today. It's pretty easy. All you have to do is uh, go to the website that they list here and then like sign in with your UCF ID information and stuff like that and just fill out everything and you'll be good to go. UCF student Eduardo Morales was one of the students who applied with the new Access to Opportunity System or A2O. Director of Student Financial Assistance Alicia Keaton has been working on this new system for students. Keaton says there's one important improvement with the new process. Now they don't have to do 10, 12 applications, just one. And they're matched to those scholarships that they meet the eligibility requirements. A lot easier. Students who we spoke with say the new system will benefit them. It made me feel really happy because then I don't have to worry about buying anything or paying for anything out of pocket or worrying about it later in life. That's good. Although the system started on March 28th, Keaton says they've had overwhelming support. So far we have over 4,600 applicants that have applied and the, the response here has been awesome. Students find it super easy. However, Keaton says these scholarships are not all inclusive. So if they're an engineering major, if they're an education, a teaching major, they still need to check with the College of Education, Engineering and different uh, other colleges and departments. Morales says A2O can help students who are in need just like him. I'm more or less trying to pay for everything by myself, so like scholarship is pretty important to me to get. So Morales says he thinks it's an important system that takes a little time, saving you a lot of money. In Orlando, Edward Locke, UCF Nightly News. The Office of Student Financial Assistance can help students if they have any questions about the general application. It was a slight overcast as students walked to Classroom Academic Village. The sun shone through a thin layer of clouds which brightened up the sky this morning. It wasn't too hot, but the humidity made its presence known. Have your umbrellas ready because as the day goes on, we could be seeing some rain. And here's a quick look at our weather forecast today. Today we have a high of 82 degrees and a low of 67 degrees. Tomorrow we will have a high of 83 degrees and a low of 66 degrees. And both days have a 50% chance of rain. That's all the time we have for now. Be sure to check out our newscast on Friday at 1.30 on Bright House Channel 734. And check back here tomorrow for another nightly news update. I'm Victoria Pasillo. Thanks for watching and have a great day.